Hey, so here's the uh, TBRC Apex. Great new little wing from TBRC. I made it today. Flew it six times. Had a blast. So I thought I'd cover uh, my setup with you. It's nothing special. Right now it's on 3S. You can fly it on 4S. I don't think it needs to be on 4S unless you're going to race or something. Um, it flew perfectly well and it was a blast. So. By the way, it's 28 inches, so it's considerably much smaller than the TBRC Reflex. Like, so you here, check the size difference out. I mean, that's that's appears small to me before the 38. Well, here's the 28, which is the Apex. So, 10 inches uh, smaller. Okay, so. Um, I don't have an HD cam on it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one on there. There's not a lot of real estate on this thing. So you have to plan it out carefully on how you're going to lay this thing out. And what I decided to do was print out a custom mount made by uh, Yuski. It's on Thingiverse, plus the fins as well. And that worked out really well. They're nice and strong. They're lightweight. It flew just fine. The stock uh, stabilizer fins that come with it are black EPP. I don't think they'd hold up as well, and you'd have to do a lot of repairing. These are really tough. Um, so I've got a 2206, 2633 KV motor in there with a uh, tri-blade dowel prop on there. Again, it flew great. Uh, I didn't have any EPCs lying around that would fit that, so I went with that, and it worked out great. It's got a 30 amp ESC uh, BL Healy, and I pigtailed off of that uh, to go to the video transmitter and the camera. That's it, no filtering. The video was spectacular, worked out really well. I love the Cricut transmitter uh, for its compactness and the aluminum case, and the fact that you can not transmit when you power on and swamp people while they're flying. And kill their video feed. Uh, I ran a spec UAV skew planer wheel plus underneath uh, the uh, top surface here, bent it up, you know, you heat it up and then bend it. And then what I did was I see I cut this out and then I took a piece of spare EPP and filled that in, then lamed it, lamed over it. Uh, some Emax 8008 uh, uh, MAs, uh, Metal Gear servos, they work great. Um, no S, no separate S-Bec, it's not needed, it's really a 2 amp uh, S-Bec on the ESC, just going to go with that. And you probably, you may be asking where's the receiver? So like there's not a lot of real estate up here and I wanted to keep it really clean so I went underneath. So I cut out here, sunk it down and the servos, the wires, I just suck, sunk them in, went to the receiver. And you can see the, I don't know if you can see the bottom there, that's just exposed, that's the servo. And then I just uh, lammed over that. One receiver wire uh, antenna coming across here. And the other one, I ran up through the top and it pokes out there. So it keeps it really nice and clean and light. It comes in at exactly... Um, with this LiPo, which is a 3S 1300 from ReadyMade, um, it, which fits like a glove, by the way. So I'll just pop it in here like this. It gives you a little room to tuck the balance lead down there. You fold it this way, and you plug it in. Uh, anyway, this setup weighs 400 grams on the nose, exactly. Um, it will lift off out of my hand vertically in the shop here uh, at about three quarters just above three quarters throttle plenty of power for me uh, I, put, I flew about four to five minutes and uh, I burned about 700 milliamps out of the 1300 so that was just general monkeying around nothing why no wide open throttle so the 1300 three cell is plenty of battery for it that's about it. Let me show. Oh, let me show you the throws I have. Let me turn it on. Engine off. I'm running about uh, 30 to 50 percent expo. 
Um, I forget the exact numbers, but somewhere between there. And I don't have any dual rate set up at all. So it's about a centimeter up and a centimeter down. And like I said, about 40% expo. She handles really well in the wind. And uh, launched six times very successfully. It, uh, the, ref the reflex in the um, back here is about normal, what you'd expect, which is just a slight tick up, nothing earth shattering. And oh, what's here, what's what I really love is with this setup, I didn't add any weight, I didn't have to move anything, and the CG was spot on. Uh, where is it? 100 uh, millimeters from the nose to the back. So right here, right along here. It's about an inch, inch, inch and an eighth in from the trailing edge of the uh, motor mount. And I didn't have to. I didn't have to do a thing to it. So if you kind of copy this, multi rotor motor, ESC, 1300 3S camera put a VTX right about here um, midway put your servos just beyond halfway on towards the nose and you're not gonna have any CG issues at all it, it was awesome I hate I mean I, I hate adding weight for no reason at all other than CG can't stand that well that's the apex hope you found this useful and uh, I'm going to have some DVR footage coming up soon since I don't, I uh, didn't load up uh, uh, a camera on there. I don't even know where I'd fit it. But, peace out.